Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail, and I have the kit to show you to be able to make one of the romantic minis um, like I just did a video of. So let me get right to that and show you how to, or show you what's in the kit. First off, the 6x6 six six papers. These are memory box papers supplemented with a few variety of others. Um, this beautiful tree, it's got a lot of kind of... Um, written like stuff this is a soft green isn't this pretty these are just so they're so romantic love that one pretty pink here that kind of um chartreusey soft green comes in love this one too pretty flowers more geometric here's some of the ones that i added to it this is like pages out of uh, a dictionary and then I think this is a basic gray, just one of their pinks. And this says you and me on it. And then this is some of the new um, La Romantique from Graphic 45 that I use for my cover. So you get two six by sixes of those. Of the four and a quarter by five and a half, there's five that are pearlized. There's a darker pink, a soft peachy pink, a cream, a minty green, an off-white, and then of the uh, basil card stocks, there is um, a pink, kind of a darker dusty pink, a minty green, a peachy pink, and kind of a coral, and then this is some of, this is banana fiber paper that I found. It's acid-free, and it's made from stuff that would normally be kind of thrown away. Um, so, and it's got a really cool fleck to it. It's also the paper that I use to create all the different um, um, sayings or words that I have that go through it. So there's love, adore, wish, cherish, dream, and joy. And I've already used my um, uh, Spellbinders die to cut these all out for you. So those are all uh, ready to go. But anyway, so there's the papers. Let me just go ahead and continue on this vein with these. There's an X larger size, and that's what I used on my cover. I actually used the word love, and it frames it nicely. So I used that on the cover. Um, there's also this from a Spellbinders um, die, this little frame that I cut out for you. And then there's three doilies um, that I've cut the doilies then in half and used those um, on the envelopes. You get a total of five envelopes. I'll show you that next in two different colors, three of one color, two of the other. Some will have um, three of this color and two of this one and that have this curve. And as I said, I cut the, the doilies in half and slipped that under underneath. So you get five of those, two six by six chipboards, though I did cut them down. I left them six inches tall and I cut them down. Um, to about five and a quarter, five and a half, just made them a little bit narrower. Um, and then you'll get two seven gypsies, uh, kind of pewter color rings. Um, flowers wise, you'll get some pink and coral, larger primas. You'll get two of one color and one of the other. These pretty primas that are, um, have this little green center in them. And I use those in the center and those are the flowers I use. Um, on my cover. I use those in the centers of those. Um, you're then going to get a bunch of that has three of and plus um, some leaves of these uh, fabric and paper um, kind of vintage flowers that I found that I absolutely love. They're just absolutely gorgeous. You'll also get three of these little green prima daisy things and then you'll get 20. I gave you five of each of the colors of there's red kind of a magenta a white and a pink of these cute 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 little paper roses i absolutely love them they are so sweet so you'll get uh, 20 of those and then some of the other goodies you're going to get the little um, tags that i used and these were used on these little tags that i have inside and then i wrote the words on there you're also going to get these are off as the um I cut these um, into the stamp sizes. These are off the Graphic 45 La Romantique collection, and I use those also on the tags. So you get six each of those. Here's those cool um, beads that are velvet. They're uh, just a luscious red, and I just threaded those, those through some of the ribbon. A um, swivel clasp in terms of bling. There's the love bling. 
There's some little tiny pink flowers and a little bit larger ones. Some red and pink and some kind of golden. So that's all your bling. Um, some paper clips in pink, red, and uh, a metal one. Got some buttons. There's that uh, metallic looking button. And I just took and used my tonic scissors and chopped that shank right off of there so that I could glue it on flat. Oops. Well, I got the dropsies today, don't I? Um, and then there's a couple of red buttons as well. Some charms. The, the little heart charms are going to vary. You also get a love charm. Then in here, I love these Prima tins. <laughs> um, you'll also get a bunch of um, brads in heart shape and metal. And then um, you'll have five of these Tim Holtz paper clips because I use those um, as on how I kept my little pocket closed on the mini. I use those right there to create that pocket. Now in terms of the lace, there's this beautiful chocolate lace. This lovely cream colored lace. Here's that cool, those cool pearls that I talked about in the video. And they're flat on the back so they, they're easy to glue down. Love those, love those. Here's a yummy, pretty cream colored lace. Here's that green braid with the velvet ribbon that's already threaded through it. And then here's a pink lace with a little um, pearl accent that's added to it. And as I said in my video about the mini, I didn't use fibers in this one, but I have about twice as many um, different ribbons as I normally have. Here's a soft pink organza, and then there's a white organza. There is a dusty pink satin, a light pink satin, coral satin, cranberry satin, green satin, and then this cute um, tan with a white thread through it. And those are all half yard pieces or 18 inch pieces. There's three quarter yards or 27 inches of this hot pink. And the only place I used this was in my binding. And then I gave you a full yard or 36 inches of both the brown and the cream because again, I used those on my binding rings, um, tying onto those. So anyway, if you're interested in this romantic um, kit, you can go to my Etsy store at follow the paper trail etsy.com um, for more information about it um, and also you can watch the video that I just uploaded um, showing you how the mini all goes together so anyway there is that um, that mini I have another Valentine mini I've had the kit up for quite some time let me give you a quick sneak peek since you're watching this one of what this one looks like I, I gave a sneak peek on my blog kind of looks a little bit like a box Kinda looks a little bit like a mini. Let me show you inside. Oh, no, I think I'll wait. I'm gonna be finishing this one up today and I'll show you what it looks like inside. So anyway, there's a sneak peek of, and that's from my eclectic Valentine collection. So anyway, if you're interested in this, go ahead, go to my blog, check it out, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a bunch.